The first term of the series is 3 upon 1 square times 2 square. The second term is 5 upon 2 square times 3 square. The third term is 7 upon 3 square times 4 square. Note the pattern here that allows us to write the rth term of the series, which is 2r plus 1 in the numerator and r square times r plus 1 whole square in the denominator. Let's denote the rth term by ur. So ur is equal to 2r plus 1 divided by r square times r plus 1 whole square. Now add and subtract r square in the numerator. The first three terms in the numerator are equal to r plus 1 whole square. Therefore, ur is equal to r plus 1 whole square minus r square divided by r square times r plus 1 whole square. This can be broken into two components. The first component is r plus 1 whole square divided by r square times r plus 1 whole square. And the second component is minus r square divided by r square times r plus 1 whole square. r plus 1 whole square cancels in the first term and r square cancels in the second term. And therefore, ur simplifies to 1 upon r square minus 1 upon r plus 1 whole square. Now put r is equal to 1, we get the first term of the series u1 equal to 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 2 square. Put r is equal to 2, we get u2 equal to 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon 3 square. Put r is equal to 3, u3 is equal to 1 upon 3 square minus 1 upon 4 square and so on so forth. The n minus 1th term un minus 1 is equal to 1 upon n minus 1 whole square minus 1 upon n square. And finally, putting r is equal to n, un is equal to 1 upon n square minus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square. Adding all of these equations on the left hand side, we have the sum of the first n terms of the series. Let's denote it by Sn. And on the right hand side, 1 upon 2 square in the first row cancels with 1 upon 2 square in the second row. 1 upon 3 square in the second row cancels with 1 upon 3 square in the third row and so on so forth. Till we are left with only two terms on the right hand side. And therefore the value of the right hand side is equal to 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square. This can be written as n plus 1 whole square minus 1 divided by n plus 1 whole square. This is equal to n square plus 2n plus 1 minus 1 divided by n plus 1 whole square. 1 cancels in the numerator and therefore the value of Sn is equal to n times n plus 2 divided by n plus 1 whole square, which is the required answer.